The world of espionage is filled with genius minds who change the course of the world and the way we see betrayal and trust. These spies undertook difficult projects after decades of training and experience. But what about the genius of a boy who betrayed an entire nation? We delve into the mind and work of one of the greatest minds known to our generation, Ted Hall, from his life in groundbreaking nuclear physics discoveries to his enduring impact on worldwide security. Ted Hall deserves to have his story told, and we are here to bring it to you. Ted Hall, also known as Theodore Hall, was an American physicist who played a significant role in the Manhattan Project, a research and development project that produced the first atomic bombs during World War II. Born on October 20, 1925, in New York City, Hall became one of the youngest scientists involved in the Manhattan Project at the ripe age of 18. From an early age, Hall displayed a deep fascination with science and technology. He avidly read scientific journals and immersed himself in understanding the intricacies of the natural world. He enrolled in Townsend Harris High School for talented boys in 1937 and was subsequently admitted to Queens College at the age of 14. Later, in 1942, Hall moved to Harvard University, where he earned a physics degree at the age of 18. Hall's involvement in the Manhattan Project a top-secret U.S. government operation to develop the atomic bomb, began in 1944, when he was recruited as a young prodigy and assigned to work at the Los Alamos Laboratory in New Mexico. At Los Alamos, Hall worked under the supervision of physicist Klaus Fuchs, who was later revealed to be a Soviet spy. Fuchs passed on valuable atomic bomb-related information to the Soviet Union, and Hall, impressed by the Soviet Union's role in defeating Nazi Germany, decided to follow suit. It was during this time that Ted's brilliance and unwavering principles would shape his destiny. Hall's primary role was as a researcher and assistant, contributing to various aspects of the project's scientific and technical endeavors. Specifically, Hall worked on the development and design of the implosion mechanism used in the plutonium-based atomic bomb. He made valuable contributions to the research and calculations related to the implosion process, which involved compressing a subcritical mass of fissile material to initiate a nuclear chain reaction. During his time at Los Alamos, Hall had access to classified information and was involved in discussions and experiments related to the construction and testing of atomic bombs. Recognized for his intelligence and mathematical abilities, he played a significant role in the scientific efforts of the project. Witnessing the immense destructive power of nuclear weapons, Ted became deeply concerned about the potential consequences. Fueled by a sense of moral obligation, he made the audacious decision to leak classified information to the Soviet Union in an effort to prevent the United States from monopolizing the atomic bomb. During his time at Los Alamos, Hall shared classified information with Soviet agents, providing them with details about the design and development of atomic weapons. He played a significant role in delivering the Soviet Union crucial data that helped expedite their own atomic bomb program. I remember thinking that what I would like to do was to have really two careers. I would like one career to be sort of in an ivory tower where you could just enjoy theoretical physics abstractly. I also felt that I had a social debt, that people should do things which would benefit humanity. So I felt I would try to balance my career. Shortly thereafter, Lona Cohen assumed the role of Hall's handler, with Hall serving as her primary contact in Los Alamos. He became the first agent to provide the Soviets with a comprehensive diagram of the initial atomic bomb. Much like his mentor, Ted Hall passed information to the Soviet Union during his time working on the Manhattan Project through covert means. As a trusted member of the project, Hall had access to classified documents and discussions, which he used to provide valuable information to Soviet agents. Hall's primary contact within the Soviet intelligence network was a physicist and fellow spy, Klaus Fuchs who himself had been recruited by Soviet agents. Fuchs acted as an intermediary between Hall and the Soviet Union. To pass on information, Hall would secretly copy classified documents and notes related to the design and development of atomic weapons. He would then provide these copies to Fuchs, who would arrange for their transfer to Soviet intelligence. The transfer of information from Hall to Fuchs was done discreetly, often through personal meetings or exchanges. They would use various methods to conceal their activities, such as leaving packages in predetermined locations or using coded language and signals to coordinate their actions. 
It is worth noting that Hall's espionage activities remained undetected during his time on the Manhattan Project. It was only many years later, after the end of World War II and the declassification of certain documents, that his involvement as a spy became known to the public. The exact details of how information was passed between Hall and the Soviet Union are not extensively documented, as intelligence agencies often keep such information classified. However, it is clear that Hall's actions provided the Soviets with valuable insights into the Manhattan Project and contributed to the acceleration of their own atomic bomb program. It is possible that Hall's activities came under suspicion during subsequent investigations into Soviet espionage within the United States, particularly following the unmasking of other spies such as Klaus Fuchs. The FBI and intelligence agencies likely gathered evidence and conducted their own investigations to build a case against Hall. Ted Hall was not arrested for espionage. Despite his involvement in passing classified information to the Soviet Union during his time working on the Manhattan Project, Hall was never prosecuted for his actions. By the time his espionage activities became publicly known, the statute of limitations for his actions had expired, which prevented legal action from being taken against him. After the revelation, Hall admitted his actions but claimed that his motivation was to ensure a balance of power and prevent the United States' monopoly of atomic weapons. The extent of the damage caused by his disclosures and the impact on the arms race during the Cold War era continues to be a subject of debate and analysis among historians and experts. Following his time as a Soviet spy, Ted Hall continued to contribute to the world of science and academia. After completing his studies at the University of Chicago, he joined the faculty at Harvard University and later became a professor at the University of California, Berkeley. Ted Hall's groundbreaking research in nuclear physics and quantum mechanics paved the way for numerous scientific advancements. His work not only earned him recognition within the scientific community, but also solidified his place in history as a remarkable physicist. Although much of his scientific discoveries are overshadowed due to his involvement in spy activities, it is noteworthy that the boy's genius knew no bounds. But what was exactly his role in the development of the atomic bomb? Hall's work in this area was instrumental in the successful development of the implosion design. He conducted research on nuclear reactors and participated in various studies related to nuclear physics and energy generation. While specific details of his contributions in this area are less widely known, his work likely advanced the understanding and development of nuclear energy applications. Hall held several academic and research positions after the Manhattan Project. He worked at the General Electric Company and the Institute for Defense Analyses, where he likely contributed to scientific and technological advancements in areas related to physics, engineering, and defense. Unfortunately, limited information is available regarding his specific contributions to these roles. Ted Hall's impact extended far beyond his scientific achievements. His brave act of leaking information during the Manhattan Project, while controversial, undoubtedly contributed to a more balanced global nuclear landscape. His actions served as a reminder of the ethical dilemmas scientists face in times of war and the potential consequences of unchecked power. Today, Ted Hall's legacy lives on through the countless scientists and researchers he inspired. His story serves as a reminder that great minds can shape the world in unexpected ways, challenging us to question our own values and responsibilities. His motivations and mindset during his involvement in espionage remain a subject of debate and analysis. Some argue that he was driven by idealistic beliefs, while others question his true motives. It is important to note that individual motivations can be complex and multifaceted. One interpretation suggests that Hall was motivated by idealistic intentions. It is believed that he became disillusioned with the United States monopoly on atomic weapons and saw the Soviet Union as a necessary balance of power. Hall may have believed that sharing atomic secrets with the Soviets would help prevent the United States from using its nuclear superiority to dominate world affairs. This perspective posits that Hall's actions were driven by a sense of moral duty and a desire to prevent catastrophic consequences resulting from one country holding a monopoly on atomic weapons. In this interpretation, Hall saw himself as a global citizen working towards a more stable and peaceful world. However, it is important to recognize that others question the extent of Hall's idealism and argue that he may have had other motivations, such as personal ambition or a sense of loyalty to the Soviet cause. 
Due to the secretive nature of espionage and the limited information available, it is challenging to definitively determine Hall's exact motivations and whether idealism played a significant role. Ultimately, the question of whether Ted Hall was an idealist or if his motivations were more nuanced and complex remains a matter of interpretation, influenced by the available evidence and differing perspectives on his actions. And there you have it, the incredible story of Ted Hall, a man whose scientific genius was matched only by his unwavering commitment to the greater good. From his early days of scientific exploration to his daring espionage activities and his enduring contributions to academia, Ted Hall's life exemplifies the transformative power of a single individual. We hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into the life and mind of Ted Hall. Join us next time as we continue to unravel the stories behind the world's most remarkable spies. Until then, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep inspiring. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content. Also, let us know in the comments below about any other mysterious spies you'd like us to cover. Thank you for watching and see you next time.